Good morning, everyone. It's a Tuesday morning. Meteorologist Ted Keller, a soggy morning for much of the Ozarks, a, a kind of a select area, actually. Here is the latest radar loop showing the heavier rains have now pushed well out of uh, Springfield, although there was a little second surge here in southeast Springfield and in Greene County. But clearly the heavier rains now are over in Texas County, Howell County, a little batch there moving through Taney County with some pretty heavy downpours. That's heading for Douglas and Ozark County. You can see some of the flood reports on here. What I'll do is turn off the radar and uh, go back in time and take a look at some of these. We had um, Route AA closed due to flooding in Lawrence County uh, earlier this morning. Kind of advance here a little bit. You'll see these flood reports from uh, Springfield. Fremont was closed there for a while south of Chestnut. Also down around uh, West Tracker Road in, in uh, Nixa. And also uh, right around Lone Pine and Republic. Uh, road closed to flooding in Springfield and more recently around Rogersville water over Highway 125 between Farm Roads 170 and 174. Now the rain is coming to an end gradually here across the area this morning. By the way here's the rain estimate uh, and that as, as, of, as of 5 a.m. we had 2.54 in uh, Springfield with a little bit more probably. We're very close to a daily record and you have to count that at midnight not when the rain actually began so I'll leave it to the weather service to add that up later today. 72 in Springfield and 67 only in Rolla and West Plains and we're headed for a high of 80 today with the shower still around through morning and almost through noon then letting up a little bit. Seven day forecast is full of temperatures that are staying mostly below the normals which in the upper 80s close to 90. And then starting on Thursday night and Friday and going through the weekend and into early next week periods of rain and storms.